Hi, my name is Lynn and welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how I make a bodice without using an actual pattern. So I'll show you how to draft the pattern and then cut out that fabric. But before we get started, please select thumbs up that you like the video. It helps with the algorithm. If at any point you have questions or comments, please post them below and please click subscribe or ring the bell to be updated when new videos come out. Before I get into showing you how to draft a pattern, I first want to talk with you about commercial patterns and different people, you're in different parts of your lives. I started medieval reenactment when I was 16 and so I couldn't afford much. And then I was in college, I still couldn't afford much. So I either drafted my own patterns or I bought like simplicity patterns or patterns something you would get say at Joanne Fabrics at Michaels not exactly historically accurate patterns but it's what I could afford if you can only afford these patterns if say you're not much of a sewing person if you are doing medieval reenactment more for the fighting more for the camaraderie whatever your reason if you want to use a store-bought pattern that's perfectly fine so if you are wanting to, say, improve your game, if you're wanting to avoid the commercial patterns, whatever your reason, there are other historical, we'll say somewhat historically accurate patterns out there. Some I find like the, the drawing looks nice, but then the patterns don't make sense or the patterns don't piece well together. It could just simply be me. I, I learned how to sew when I was in second grade and then didn't touch a sewing machine again until I started medieval reenactment. And from that, about that point on, from my teenage years, it's been a learn as I go process. So I am not the expert when it comes to sewing, but as far as patterns, for example, I've got this, um, alter years. If you're wanting something that's not a simplicity pattern you've got this there's also another um, company um, reconstructing history I've tried one of their patterns and again to me the drawings look nice but either I couldn't make the pattern work or I couldn't make it fit it could just simply be me who knows but if I were, were to recommend um, any kind of pattern for someone wanting to say improve their look improve their game Whatever, if you're wanting to go with something, I would recommend the Tudor Taylor. They have patterns as well as books. This is just one of their books and I would highly recommend it. But again, this goes with if you can afford the pattern, if you are even wanting to go with a more historically accurate outfit. Again, this all is just if you want to improve your game. You don't have to. Uh, I spent, well, like I said, I joined the SCA when I was 16 and I spent at least the first 10 to 15 years in the SCA more or less looking like I was a spectator dressed in costume going to a Renaissance festival. Nothing wrong with that. But this is today me showing how I drafted a pattern. This is actually a pattern that I drafted. Whew. I may have been about 20 or so years old when I drafted this. Again, I was in college, couldn't afford or ju couldn't justify the purchase of buying a pattern and doing it myself. So what I ended up doing was I took my corset pattern and a store-bought pattern and kind of morphed the two. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so here is my original corset pattern. This is only one half of it and then you would fold the fabric which would give you your full corset. From there I had put on muslin and this is my corset pattern from oh boy I think from when I was maybe 18, 19 years old and Thankfully, I, after four kids, I can still fit into it. So using this, what I did from there, I've got just a, I've got this simplicity pattern, so nothing spectacular. 
by the orcs. So from there, you want to figure out where your front is and where your back is. So these are the front panels. This is the back and the back. And from here, what I would do is I put this on the fold and figure out about where you need because here is the underarm and then this is the underarm right here. You want to put this on the fold and then this is where I would find where to put my shoulder straps. And the same with the back side. This is the back of the pattern. And this goes along here. Again, you want your the underarm to meet where the underarm goes. So just like that. And then this will help you draft where to put the shoulder straps on the back side and on the front side to show you what I'm talking about. After I drafted those, I put it on scrap fabric to create my pattern. And here is my front. And to show you kind of what that looks like with my original pattern, can see here and there. Because of where my corset sits, I wanted my bodice pattern to be a little bit higher up. That way you don't see the corset when I'm wearing it. When you sew, you will have the seam allowance for both sides, but I still wanted a little extra up here to help hide the corset down here. So this is what the front side looks like. And I seem to be missing half of my back, but this is one half. And again, if you look, I made more of a square. You can, depending on how you want to draft your pattern, you can have a V-shape and then have the line of the fabric going just like that. You can have it like this. But this is where I took the modern pattern. So this is one half of my back side there will be another panel here like that and then this is designed if you wanted to lace it up in the back if you want to lace it up in the front instead of cutting back here you would put a fold with your fabric here and then on the front panel instead of cutting on the fold you would cut on an edge right here and then you can lace from the front but with the back panel, this is where I used my corset pattern. Here is the edge, like that. And then I used the modern pattern up here to then draft where the shoulder seams, shoulder um, straps should be. And from there, that's where I created this panel. It helps to use scrap fabric. That way you can pin it to your body and then tweak it wherever you need it to be tweaked before you cut out your nice fabric. You don't want to be cutting out wool or linen before you have your pattern drafted just the way you want it. That's why I recommend scrap fabric. To see what the pattern looks like in use, this is a dress I made back when I was in college. So here is the front panel. And here's what my drafted bodice pattern looks like on top of it. This is just simple cotton fabric. Again, I was in college, so I bought what I could afford at the time. Here is the back side and the back of my drafted pattern. Now, one thing you want for the neckline, or depending on what style you're going for, I did a square on the back side. I've also found patterns where it's just a V-shape, so you can cut your fabric going straight down. But if you're lacing up the back, that's fine. If you are going to be doing that V-shape and you're going to be doing front lacing, I still recommend cutting this on an edge and then sewing. That will make the V-shape right here a lot easier to sew. Otherwise, you'll have a funky bun bunching of fabric right here where that V-shape meets. And if you are wanting to do a front lacing, 
outfit. This is the back side of the overdress I made to go with the dress I just showed you. And with this one, I folded the fabric in the back. And here is my pattern just to show you what that looks like. So I put the fold right here. That's the back side. And then on the front side, I intentionally cut about two inches, one inch on either side of the fold. So that way I had this gap right here. So that way my underdress showed with the overdress. And just to put my pattern on top, just to show you what that looks like. Remember with your pattern to include seam allowance. Thank you for checking out my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed this video and would like to watch more of my videos, please follow the links on the side of the page. Please select thumbs up that you like the video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below and please click subscribe and ring the bell to be updated when new videos come out.